Buttercups, which are all small to the ground because uh, it's regularly mowed. But here, when it's not mowed, you can see how far they are. They're lovely. They look the lovely. Nine Way goes through here. Does it? Um, so, this crosses the Pennine Way just here. We're going up to Janet's Foss here in a sort of round trip to Malham. You can see Malham Cove behind you. Right. Have you noticed there's two gates? Two gates, yeah. That's very unusual. Two. It looks like an in and an out, yeah. one way system. <laughs> It is. I mean, just a little farm on the hillside over there. It's just lovely. Another one back over there, and then we'll just have a go. It makes you feel good. Yeah. Doesn't it? When it's like this. And it's just the luscious time of year for the moment. It is. With the back then, it looked like Belton Galloway. Yeah, I think they are. The brown ones there. It's like, and they're all coming over. Look at the uh, unusual yeah, structure. We're walking along. A lot of the stones of wall are built out of are rounded. Yeah, so I are. think rather than being quarried stone, a lot of it, it was just taken from the rivers, which uh, happens in you know mountain areas very often. The first source of uh, stone is in the rivers. This is Janet's Foss. Yeah. Where did it get that name from? Well, the Foss is local. Very name. unusual. No, a uh, Foss, as you remember from near Stainforth, is a local name for waterfalls. So this little bit of the Janet's Foss is actually a small That's what waterfall. We're yeah. Yeah. I really don't know. It's so. Idyllic. Yes, it is. Isn't it? shape of the leaves. I'm just wondering yeah. if these are wild strawberries. Oh right. The last time I saw them was about 50 years ago at a limestone quarry, I think it was limestone, in uh, Oxfordshire. And the guy pointed them out to me. And they do look a little bit like strawberry flowers. Um, and there's some over there. Yeah, you do. Very dangerous. I think it is. Sure. Well, you can have a drink. 
to and see proof. Right, no, I think I'll. I think for long soon. Yeah, we will get into Gordon Scar. Yeah. How handy to have a catering van in the middle of the countryside like that. They know where this is. Like yeah, amazing. They even got trestle tables, yeah. haven't they, to sit at. They're very popular, aren't they? Very nice. Approaching what? The, the foot of the where you where you, where the waterfalls are. Oh right. The climb up is. Oh, is there more waterfalls? Well, it's a trickle down the slope. It's not a real waterfall, but it was a lot of rain coming down. It'll be a bit more of a waterfall. My goodness, look at that. Well, this whole thing is Gordale Scar. You can climb yeah. up there. I did. I've done it. I think the first time I came here it was uh, a job of a field trip with the school. There wasn't as much water going down. We all climbed up and then carried on around. And then the path goes up there. We've got to swim up that rock. Oh, I don't think I can see that. No, I don't think I'm going to no, have it. Difficult time, but I see. Taking a bit of a risk doing that. Look at the waterfall coming up, you can see. What's that? What's this dripping on there? <laughs> it's dripping from the boat. I when I did it, when I was about 17, on that job, the geography field trip, it was the middle of summer, there wasn't much water coming down. And I think you went up where the water is coming down now. You, could, you can see where you, that big hole, you can see around through, you can go around the top of it on the left hand side and over. Well, it's it, way up there. It's a, it's a, it's to, uh, go to the on rocks. It certainly wouldn't uh, appeal to me. You wouldn't get me doing it, that's for sure. I think the sun's gone in. It so keeps coming and going. Is Malam Cope the next bit? Yeah. We'll do it. We've gone to start. Came along to Janet's Foss. Yes. We've been up to Gordale Scar and come back down. We're here at the moment and then yeah. we'll take this across here to that road and then up around the top of Malam Cove and then just come back down. Oh, really nice. It's only a short walk. Yes, I've really enjoyed it. You know, possibly. Quote the very most. 
you don't want something, you can sit on the wall of the benches and have, you, have some lunch. Okay, you can sit on the wall and have some lunch. I said I didn't know that you'd crossed a road. Oh, we, that was a steep climb, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're more so. I don't think there's more climbing to do now. Right. I think it's about, is it half a mile? Half a mile, yeah. Something like this walk. It seems to be everybody sort of taking place. a day off. textbooks the sort of thing they're the classic yeah. examples of you know particular things that might have caught to come on coal we've seen yeah. little ones elsewhere but this was huge and then Cordell scars you know how high it is when we're at the bottom right we're over the top my goodness cliff edge Across the top, then we come down there, and then we just follow that path back into Mark. But they look very steep, don't they? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather be going down them than up them. Probably. Clints and Grikes. I can't remember which is the Clint and which is the Grike. One is the upraised piece, and the other is the gap in between. I can never remember these days. Yes. What I'm saying is, when you're filming, what's way of putting your foot as well? It does look a bit precarious though, doesn't it? Look at the deep grooves. And the other thing about this sort of limestone pavement, if you look, there's plants growing in it. Right. And some of them are rare alpine ones, well, which are protected. Um, and they, they survive here because of them, like a little... Sheltered, little protected. Oh, these look a bit better, don't they? Oh, is that the cove bit? It's a cove, yeah. It is. Was, is that the bit that, that we've been climbing we've been across over? the top of it? This is Marm Cove, was... the, the, the great wall of uh, limestone. Uh, yes. He's determined to take that a long way. <laughs> oh, right. Come on. I think, they did a, I think they wanted to know where the water came from and they thought, does it come from Malam Tarn? I think, I think they dropped some dye in at Malam Tarn or where it comes out. And it, it, it wasn't from there, it was somewhere else, but I may be mistaken. I've forgotten the story again. It's a long time since I heard it. Thanks, mate.
we're back to the tea rooms, which is the old bar.